Indeed, some of it will come from the teams themselves. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seville. A rights group has written to FIFA asking them to ban Iran from this year's World Cup. Open Stadium says the Iranian authorities continue to block women from watching games in their own country. In a letter sent to FIFA president Gianni Infantino, they're calling for football to be a safe space for everyone. The former president of El Salvador's Football Federation has been sentenced to 16 months in a U.S. prison as part of FIFA's ongoing global investigation into corruption. Reynaldo Vazquez pleaded guilty last year in New York to receiving bribes of $350,000 in 2012 to stage and broadcast football matches. The corruption probe by FIFA has so far led to 27 guilty pleas and two convictions at trial. NFL concussion rules are in focus after a nasty injury to Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tongovailoa. He was chased down and sacked by Cincinnati Bengals' Josh Tupo towards the end of the first half in Thursday's game. Play was held up for almost 10 minutes as he received treatment on the field. He was taken to hospital with concussion and later released with full movement of his extremities. This incident came just days after Tua had been evaluated for another concussion injury, but the Dolphins insist he was cleared to play. There's an independent specialist that specializes in the specialty of brain matter. So, um, yeah, the, um, for me, as long as I'm coaching here, um, if there's in, uh, you know, I'm not going to fudge that whole, that whole situation. If there's um, any, any sort of inclination that someone has a concussion, they go into the concussion protocol and it's very strict. In the match, the Bengals inflicted a first defeat of the season on the Dolphins as they took it 27-15. This, one of three touchdowns for the home side, finished off by wide receiver T. Higgins. The Bengals have two wins and two losses from their opening four games. MotoGP will race in India next year for the first time in the sport's history. It will take place in September at the Bud International Circuit, just south of New Delhi, which previously hosted Formula One races. Kazakhstan is another new addition to the calendar for next season. The riders are in Thailand for this week's Grand Prix, with Johan Zarco going quickest in Friday's practice, ahead of championship contender Francesco Bagnaia. Novak Djokovic sailed through his opening match at the Tel Aviv Open to reach the quarterfinals. The top seed, who's competing in Israel for the first time in 16 years, was up against Spain's Pablo Andujar. Djokovic didn't face a break point as he wrapped up the victory in straight sets. Six love, six three. That's the fewest games the Serbian has lost in any match this season. Djokovic plays Canada's Vasic Pospisil next. Now, a hole in one in golf is normally pretty rare, but there were a couple during the opening round of the PGA Tour's latest event in Mississippi. The first was made by this man, American Brandon Wu. It came at the par 3 fourth, which was playing 163 yards. The ball rolled down towards the hole and then dropped in. South African MJ Duffy was the other player to make an ace, and incredibly, it was on the very same hole. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. The world's best mountain bike riders are gearing up for next month's Red Bull Rampage event in the deserts of Utah. One of the 18 riders taking part in the 16th edition of the event is Belgian Thomas Geno. The 29-year-old has been preparing by taking on an extreme course which he helped to design and build. 